25, the name of senior six, one of them are going to come and give us that Thanksgiving prayer. Even the one who, is pre who has prepared or is prepared for that confession prayer to get ready. You have to stand here or somewhere there. Okay. The person leading us in the Thanksgiving prayer and the confession prayer. Thank you. As they come here, I will be to give the welcome remarks. Once again, Chapel Choir, praise Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Chapel Choir, for leading us in our first game. We glorify God for our dear Baba Senior Six. 2023. Senior 62023. God is good. And all that time. God is good and that's the first time. Beautiful. Yeah, we have our bishop here with the main servant. That is red, that is right, Reverend Nathan and Bisiwe. Reverend Right Reverend Nathan and Bisiwe, our bishop and fellow parent of Gaza High School, senior five, and the parent of uh, one of our chapel prefects, Reverend, right, Reverend Nathan, we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. The Lord was accorded in Daddy Matthew all the way from Utunamo in Gaza High School. That's love. Bishop Nathan, may Christ continue blessing you. We have Mohunizi Moses Sali, teacher by profession of physics and math. Mohunizi Alis Kawama, teacher of profession biology and chemistry. We have Reverend Lovisa, my namesake, Reverend Lovisa Katana Kanike from All Saints Cathedral. She's also a scientist. And then we have Reverend Xavier Tin of Grace. Uh, teacher of foods and nutrition, also a scientist. Then, uh, Reverend Lovisa. Now, it's about to look at the chocolate, but I belong to the arts. <laughs> and Bishop Kuna can hear us say, hmm, hmm, it's good to balance that. Mm -hmm. So, I shouldn't have anybody here. I have any questions. <laughs> Reverend Lovisa, why didn't you study sciences? Bishop, why did you do that? Hey, we have to have scientists and arts. And we have many people here who belong to us. We have the Board of Governors. Um, Board of Governors Chair is already here. Just stand up for recognition. Uh, there she is in the commission room. We welcome you here in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And other Board of Governors are here with us. Stand up for recognition, Board of Governors. Members of Board of Governors. We have a PTA chair. We have two of them, not only one. There are two here. Michala Innocent Indigo and Dr. Pagwa Ross. PTA Executive, PTA Executive, beautiful senior six you can see. We have the PTA Executive also here. The administrators, administrators headed by Mrs. Robina Kizito, our head teacher there at the high school, is here with us in a traditional way. With our deputies, Mrs. Kabogoza, uh huh. In a Gomez also, this is how to be also in a traditional way. Mr. Sekaita in a Kanzu. There's a community, there's a community standard for nation, there's a community with our family members, the staff of Gaza High School. Come on, senior sister. We will be seeing a traditional way. Uh, uh, uh. So don't say, senior sis, don't, eh? don't get annoyed with anyone. Eh? They, they, they told us to put on long things. The good thing when the other high school staff members are putting on long things, eh? like when they are long things. <laughs> <laughs> and the bishop also is putting on long ones anyway. But with the parents, I don't you know. Okay, parents. Our parents of senior six. 
Parents, we glorify God for you. We thank God for your family. We thank God for your school fees. Parents, we know that you are our family. May Christ continue blessing you. Even for many God, you would have refused to come and be have stayed behind saying that I ah, you know next Sunday's visitation but parents you are here with us thank you thank you very much parents eh, of girls at high school not only parents are guardians relatives grandmates okay now we say a lot this prayer together and after the Lord's Prayer, we shall have our Thanksgiving prayer and our confession prayer. This service is being led, it's supposed to be led by our own, the Senior 6, 2023. And we have three leaders here. Denise, from a chapel prefect. Then Jemima, also from a chapel prefect. Denise belongs to Senior 6B. She's a scientist. Jemima is also a scientist. Well, we know he's a scientist. Uh -huh. Good. But I told you, we all belong to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the President of Uganda. Uh -huh. Who is that one? Museveni. Belongs to Christ. Amen. Okay. okay. Okay, the Lord is prayer and then thanksgiving and confession. Let's have ourselves for the prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, thank you, Lord. 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 Thank King of glory, King of kings, John Bachara, I want to thank you for today. I want to thank you that we are here, healthy and strong, Lord King of glory. I want to thank you for the years you have brought us King High School, Ebenezer. We thank you and bless you, the Lord King of glory. I want to thank you for the Gaza administration, from the Board of Governors, to the Parent Teachers Association, to the Head Mistress and her deputies, the Lord King of glory. To the director of studies and the deans of the Lord King of Glory, I want to thank you that they have taken care of us, that they gave us a chance to be in this institution, Lord King of Glory. I want to thank you for the decisions they have made for us, Lord King of Glory, for it was all for our good Lord. I want to thank you, Lord King of Glory, for the champions of your guys at high school, Lord King of Glory, for they have instilled in us the values of Proverbs 31, Lord King of Glory, King of Glory to the various class fellowships. Through the Bible studies, Lord King of Glory, we have grown to become women, women of faith. Lord King of Glory, I want to thank you for the teachers of guys in high school, for the strength you have given them, Lord, to come and teach us, to take time off to give us those extra lessons for revision, Lord King of Glory, for the whole whole God that they have instilled in us, Lord King of Glory, for the support and care, of Lord. May you bless them, O God, King of Father. I want to thank you for our house mistress, O Lord. House mistresses, um, dear matron, the senior woman, Lord, who have taught us what it means to be like a lady, to act, to dress, how to speak, O oh Lord. May you bless them, O Father. I want to thank you, Lord, King of Glory, for the nine teaching staff of Gaza High School, O oh Lord, for the compact cleaners, to the DR departments that gives us nutritious meals every day, to the cleaners, O oh Father, to the people who operate on the sun system, O oh Father. May you bless them, O oh God, Father. I want to thank you, O oh God, for our parents who have given us for the time, who have most of all paid our school fees, who have been there when we need them, O oh Lord, King of Glory. I want to thank you, O God, King of Glory, that you actually, that you have brought them here to do for us safe and sound. And I pray that as they go back, O oh God, King of Glory, that you shall protect them, O oh Father. I want to thank you for the senior sixth class, 2023, that we have become a family that supports each other, O Lord, King of Glory, that we have made new friends along the way, that we have learned from each other in the King of Glory. I want to thank you that we are victorious in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. That come 2024, we shall testify that, O oh Lord, that we have seen your hand at work of the King of Glory. 
we put this day into your hands, and as we dedicate the six candidates, 2023, O Lord King of Glory, into your hands, we put this service as the as the bishop preaches, O Lord King of Glory, that we shall take in his word, O Lord King of Glory, that we shall receive your blessing today. Want to thank you, want to bless your name, in Jesus' name of prayer. Amen. And as your spirit, Jehovah King, Jehovah Jehovah, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your opportunity to love us in our unfaithfulness. We thank you for you alone in very faithful in the time that we are so unfaithful. It's my prayer that God you are going to forgive us of your name. Forgive us of being the Christians all to be Jehovah Jehovah. Forgive us of taking up the rules in your name, Jehovah Jehovah. It's my prayer that you lead and direct us into a way that you want us to walk into. It's my prayer that you forgive each and every one of us here, Jehovah Jehovah. We've seen in ways of God, my Father, that we know that we know that we know that we know. It's my prayer, God, that you look on us with mercy, Jehovah Jehovah. That we know on I, Jehovah King Jesus, who will lead and direct us of you. That we may be people who will be separated away because of our sins, Jehovah Jehovah. May we be close to you, Lord, my Father, and all that we do, King Jesus. And in being close to you, Lord, my Father, may we be Christians that we ought to be Jehovah Jehovah. It's my prayer that you take the lead, that others may be refined in you, Jehovah Jehovah. That we may be Christians, oh God, my Father, that you want us to be good. It's my prayer that you lead and direct us to you. It's my prayer that you will create in us clean hearts of God. That you give us minds of you, Jehovah Jehovah. That Lord, my Father, we shall make you happy in all the ways that we walk, Jehovah Jehovah. Jehovah Jehovah, it's my prayer, Lord, my Father, that you will cleanse and us. That good mighty Father, you will be at the center of our lives, O God. May you be people who will be in the center of your will, Jehovah Jehovah. For that's the safest place for us to be in, O God, mighty Father. O God, mighty Father, I pray that you are Lord, O mighty Father, will show the place and prepare us for all our evil places, Jehovah Jehovah. And Lord, mighty Father, may be able to come and praise you, Lord, mighty Father, in all that we do, Jehovah Jehovah, with clean hearts, O God, mighty Father. It's my prayer, Lord, mighty Father, that you will look and follow us with us, Jehovah Jehovah. Lord, we continue to say that we love you. Oh, we continue to say that we are sorry, Lord, my Father. And we continue to say, Lord, my Father, that we shall be Christians to listen to your voice. Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name. We say, Lord, we pray and we live. Amen. Lord, hear our prayers. Amen. Let our prayer. Uh, thank you, Divine and Douglas, for leading us in the Thanksgiving prayer. Lord, we shall pray and we pray. Lord, we shall pray. Now we are going to have a uh, praise and worship team the first day, but because the place here, mm -hmm. yeah, because of the weather still, we praise the Lord for the rain, because in Uganda as a country, we are farmers, even the bishop here, right, Reverend Nathan Ahimi Sue is a farmer. So when he has been saying, ah, ah, can we have the rain? Oh, you know, ask me a one blessing so many. So, praise and worship team, we stand up and dance from there. Because if you dance from here, I'm worried of the bishop who's satire. Any time, it might get spoiled, even mine is white. So, praise and worship team, we get out and dance from there. Thank you.
by our whole CDRC 2023. Now we are going to pray for that church, the nation, and the school. CDR6 leaders.
For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's continue in prayer for our nation. Friend and loving Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you so much for the gift of life. And we thank you for the blessings, Almighty Jesus, that you've given us to see it another day, of God. We do not take it for granted that each and every one of us here is alive, Almighty God, Jesus. And we are indeed alive to tell the story of how we overcame, Almighty God. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for our country, Uganda, Almighty Jesus. We thank you so much for the part of Africa, our Lord. We do not take it for granted that we are. Ugandans, Almighty Jesus, and we thank you for the beauty that you have placed in our nation, Almighty God. We come before you, Almighty God, in your strength for our leaders in this country, O God, from the President, Almighty God, Jesus, to, to the lowest position in the local government, O God. I pray, Almighty Jesus, that you guide our leaders, Almighty Jesus, to lead us in ways that are guided by you, Almighty God, Jesus. May our leaders always listen to you, Almighty God, as they lead us, Almighty God, and may they lead our country to greater heights, Almighty Jesus. We pray, Almighty God, for peace in our country, Almighty God. Even amidst the storms, Almighty God, Jesus, amidst each and everything that is happening in this country, O God. I pray, Almighty God, that there will be peace, Almighty God, Jesus, that you will help us as Uganda, Almighty God, Jesus, to stay in your word, Almighty God, in peace and harmony, Almighty Jesus. And Lord Jesus, O God, may this country become a better place each and every day, Almighty God, for each and every one of us to live, Almighty God. I pray, Almighty God, that you will continue to bless each and every one of us, Almighty Jesus. And Lord Jesus, may your will be done in our lives. We will see Jesus' name and believe that. Amen. May the grace and the Sessions, we stand and sing from him from faith 437. 437. And parents, yes, we have our photo service booklets, page two. Page two.
that none of us will miss the message that you want us to take home with us this day. And so, Lord, I pray for each of our hearts that we will be receptive to your message. We want to pray for our parents here, those following us online. We want to thank you for our candidates and for the entire Gayaza community. Thank you because we are a community after your own heart. Thank you for drawing us close to you. Friends, the Bible says to us that before we come to the Lord to pray, He knows the desires of our hearts. And so I would love to give for us under a minute to go before the Lord and make mention of that particular desire that you have. The Lord is faithful, He listens, and He understands. So we you wish to to your Father. He is a loving Father, He is faithful, and He knows. We do make it known to Him this morning. And Lord, as our prayers come to you, may you receive us. May you receive them. May you remember us. And my heart particularly this morning goes to those of us that seem to be scared, those of us that seem to be confused, not knowing what tomorrow holds, especially our candidates. It is good to, to, to come before you and lay it at your feet. And so, Lord, I pray that for those of us that might find ourselves confused and scared and scattered, that you will gather our pieces and that, Lord, you will fight for us. Will you turn those ashes into beauty? We give you thanks, for thy is the kingdom, the glory and honor and power and majesty are yours, not just now, but forever and ever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We will now arise and together join in that song on page 3 from the Luganda Prayer Book, 294. Please do arise. And let us join in that song together.
property to St. Matthew, chapter 13, from verse 1 to 9. Matthew, chapter 13, from verse 1 to 9. That same day, Jesus left the house and went to the lakeside, where he sat down to teach. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and sat in it, while the crowd stood on the shore. He used parables to tell them many things. Once there was a man who went out to sow corn. As he scattered the seed in the field, some of it fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some of which fell on rocky ground, where there was little soil. Seed soon sprouted, because the soil wasn't deep. But when the sun came up, it burnt the young plants, and because the roots had not grown deep, the plants soon dried up. Some of the seed fell among thorn bushes, which grew and choked the plants. But some seeds fell in good soil. <coughs> and the plants produced corn. Some produced a hundred grains, some produced 60, and others 30. And Jesus concluded, listen then, if you have ears. What should I have with the word of the Lord? Thank you, Daniel, for the first reading from Matthew 13, verse 1 to 9. Next, we're going to have um, a hymn from the other hymn books, 50, Be Faithful Unto Death, as we get ready for the second reading. Thank you. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 13. Deuteronomy 28, verse 13. It says, The Lord your God will make you the leader among nations and not a follower. You will always prosper and never fail if you obey faithfully all his commandments that I am giving you today. This is our Lord. Thank you so much, for seeking that reading. So, as we get ready for someone, we are going to have um, a hymn, Hymns of Faith. 417, teach me thy way. And after that, you we welcome Reverend Hatena to welcome the Right Reverend Bishop Nathan. I hope to see you. Amen. 
He is a father at heart, not just for those he has biologically given birth to, but he loves to mentor as many as he can so that we all ultimately get to heaven. He loves the Lord. He is very married to Mama Lilian Nalogo. By the way, Bishop is a Salogo. Hallelujah. And so I believe as I invite him, I am walking in that anointing, and very soon, probably one of these days, the Lord might also bless me in that capacity. Amen. And before I ask him to come, I do remember vividly that a few weeks ago, on the 10th of September 2023, while in the Arabia for their convention, the Lord touched his heart and he blessed some people. Hallelujah. Amen. And they are not saying he's going to do that, but if the Lord allows him to do, please receive that blessing. Amen. Amen. A few people have understood. Hallelujah. Amen. See those of you that don't want to go for prayer convention. See you means. So please join me as we invite our dear brother in the Lord, our elder, our father, the right Reverend Nathan and Ibisiwe, uh, the Bishop of South Ankole Diocese. Bishop, please look out and meet some among us. Yours is to clap until you get to the very, very welcome. And may the Lord use you as you bless us this morning. This one will be Naira Mukandit. So we also need to dedicate three today. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this great opportunity to be here in our school here, Ezra High School. A school you chose a long time ago and put in this nation and the whole world to shape leaders, to shape people with a difference wherever they go. Those who have gone through this school and those who are still there and even those who will be coming in the name of Jesus, none of them will be attained by their behaviors. And so I pray that this word sinks in their hearts and not only hearing it, but also putting it into practice. And we shall see your word soon, yielding a hundred folds. And if it fails a hundred, it will yield sixty. If it fails, it will be thirty, but not nothing. And we hear our prayers in Jesus' name of prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. The Torah school, the other high school, they speak very nice English. And even those who are still there, we have our daughter, she speaks very serious English. Our uh, daughter, please, where are you, please? Miss Ahabi. She's our daughter here, in senior five. I saw her there. Uh, the chapel, is it the chapel of prison? You know, some of us, we grew up in schools. We didn't have an opportunity to go in kindergarten. We schools. For us, we just emerged from somewhere and we started the school. <laughs> but one of our sisters, one of our few sisters, went at least to a town uh, kindergarten and was taught a lesson and taught a song. And one of the songs she came and taught it the whole, the whole, the whole children at home. We are still young, for us we are still very good. She was saying, I'm going to teach her song. And all of us became attentive. And she took it for us. And the way they took it, she took it for us and we sing it. And I, and I grew up singing that song until the right time. And this is how it went. Oh, we are saying, oh, my singing. Oh, 
Salvador Vaz Mitra Sigue, ok, nace Amo Maramba Ok, nace, si go, aleluya So, when the English came up They are not in the time when things start coming up So, the English started coming up And I came to know the meaning We really are not that was interesting What we used to sing, ok, nace That is the way the saints Ok, nace, si go Ok, nace, si go Ama Maramba Among the number, yes. <laughs> you, you, people come from very far. But we thank God very much that God can move you from obey the saints to be among the saints. And also moves you from among the number to become among the number. We are, we are now 38 bishops in the whole province of the Church of Uganda. Why, why do they run with me? It means I'm a man for a number. <laughs> so you people know, think it's change. And when God plans it, it will happen. No one will swat it, no one will. Hey, you people. We are among the number. <laughs> by the way, during experience in this school, you must be among the number. Not everybody brings spirit here. You people, I know I see the line. Online and the line here. Both online and the line here. It is no joke. But for God's sake and for your daughter, God has given you that opportunity to be among the them. For the good English, let me give you an example. You hear, we had a we had a song here, and we were saying persecuted, eh? persecuted. Eh? Then there are others who went. That's the nice thing. The other one said persecuted. The other one said persecuted. Others persecuted. <laughs> so that's how you come to know this one is a real village English person, <laughs> and this one is. A, so we thank God very much for bringing us together here to dedicate our daughters of the six. Of course, uh, they suppose we are dedicated some time ago and wish them the best, but today is the six years. Dear Hedrishers and, uh, and, and, and the staff, thank you for choosing us. Dear board chair and uh, the DPA chair and your team, our crowd, can they so the year? Hallelujah. Amen. Today I have a package for you. And, and you will not miss it, you will go. But above all, first of all, you have known that we are among them. Hallelujah. So, dear parents, and, uh, and uh, teaching and unteaching, we want to thank God very much our religious leaders who are here, our beloved chaplain. By the way, I went with her in, in the same school. She was ahead of me one year. And we should thank the church for going to go. She was very, very wonderful, no nonsense, lady. We, we revere her. You know, there are some people whom you can go easily and attack. <laughs> but you know, you could not go easily and attack this one. <laughs> you, know, you people, you need to know your value. If you know your value, nobody will attack you anyhow. They must come rightly. So, she was good up to now, and we thank God very much for her. I gave my lecture as first at the age of 17 when I was in senior two. My first time to be at the Gaza High School was 1987. We had come here for National Scripture Union Conference. It is SU that brought me to Gambara. And it was my first time to step in Gambara. It was Scripture Union. You people, what is good? I am one of the members of the house there. <laughs> so we enjoyed our time, scripture even shaped us to become the kinds of people we are today. And I have never turned back you people from 1983 on the day of 30th in the month of October like this one. Tomorrow will be my 40th spiritual birthday. <laughs> 
our university Sunday had four tapings tomorrow. But, that, but now it is still one day. By the way, you are supposed to add one more day. Huh? One more day so that. Carry. <laughs> but we are very to God for the 40 years in Christ. It is a blessing to know that we just Christ at the young age. No one will ever regret, no one will ever regret that you gave your religious Christ at the youngest stage. At the youngest age, I am telling you, never go wrong. You people, today the package I have for you, that one of us, they read. That one of us. In Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 13. And I read from the versions I have here. One of the versions, and this English says, And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. That is the message. That is the message you people who have six years. And the Lord, and the Lord will make will make you the head and not the Hey, hallelujah. Yeah. But also it's a message for all of us. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath if you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today. And I carefully, carefully observe them. Murgana Chekamba, Echamateka, Surat Munana, or you try to be separate with Mugamba. Era Mugamba.
I told him, this is 2004, I told him, I am a very important man in Uganda. <laughs> Remember, those who were beating me were Uganda ladies. And they cannot beat you where you are. So I told him, I am a very important man in Uganda. <laughs> you people confession this, confession. When you confess, That you are a very important person in Uganda, you are! Yes. And I know that even I became a bishop by then. I became a bishop in 2012. The month of January on the 8th. So, <laughs> like you people, <laughs> let me tell you my leaders, you are very important. You are going to be the heads and not the leaders. By the fact that God has made you to, to achieve it, to come here, it means you are on the road to your age. But if you are not a lizard in Uganda, you cannot be a crocodile in America. <laughs> so, now that there are lizards already in Uganda, you will be called a crocodile in America, in Europe, in, in, in Africa, in, in, in all the countries. You will be the heads and not the tails. But there is a condition. God's word does not go just empty the There is a condition. To become a head, <laughs> you, you must fulfill something. Let me read it. And it says, You shall be above only and none be beneath. If you heed, now we are the condition. If you heed the commandments of the Lord, you are good which I command you today, and are careful to observe them. By the way, I don't joke with the head. This head, they can cut the legs and cut the hands, but if the head is still functioning, I am telling you, you are somebody in this world. <laughs> I went to do confirmation in one of the parishes in our days. Among the people found was a handicapped, a crippled. This boy was rolling many years. But the head was there. Up to here. Huh? Yeah, but the legs, if you see them, I'm telling you, you're not so easy there again if you are, you are, you are not a person who is God. But the head was there functioning. So I asked him, young man, are you schooling? He said, no. Which class do you stop? He said, it's in here too. What happened? Please. I told you you are going back to school. You are going back to school. So, of course, he's paying the fees. That's what it means. So I paid the fees. We went back to school. Orevo, he finished it. Why? The head is still okay. Orevo, he finished it. Because the head is okay. He went to the university. KIU. He did three years bachelor's degree and finished it. Second class upper honors degree. <laughs> now, recently he wanted to do a party, eh? a party with his friends of graduation. So I saw on WhatsApp, uh, they started with a party for graduation. But after some few weeks, I saw a girl riding together with him, and now it has turned from the party of graduation to a party and marriage. <laughs> so I called him, my son, what has happened? He said, my old bishop, something good is happening. <laughs> something good is happening. And let me tell you, I called him and said, can you bring me that somebody? And he brought her. When you look at that girl, she is poor! <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked him, I asked him, what is your need? Then he told me, I don't have the cow for slaughter in my party. I said, that's what I'm giving you. I'm giving you a cow. I'm giving you also the vehicle. I, 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 we start with the party. And now, Sure, weeks was his wedding. 
Și cu te jos. Nu te ai eu ăsta în capas, dar te ai eu men capas. So, recently, you made it. And some few days later, I called him and said, well, I said I'm in bus. What I called him, Gore? Said I, I have her. She's a big cook in me, Katogo. Oh, I'm telling you, things happen. What? The head. The head. Then somebody says, you protect your head. Tell you, oh, protect your head. Protect your head. What is on the head? The eyes. What is the head? The ears. What is the head? The head. What is the head inside the brain? What is on the head? Nose. What is on the head? Mouth. What inside the mouth? Teeth. Inside the teeth? Tongue. Inside the tongue? <laughs> because the head is functioning, God will bless you. You will never be the tail, but you will be the head. In the nation, God has given us You will be the head and not the tail. Yeah. In your district, you will be the head and not the tail. In the home you will be the head and not the tail. In your crown, you will not be the tail, but you will be the tail. I will be the tail. The tail is from me. When God says, you will become the tail, don't go, yes, I am so here, you know. And I want to thank you people. It is not easy to pay for the money here. Mm -hmm. I know there are people who have a lot of money. There are people who have a lot of money. And there are people who don't have money, I'm telling you. They get their own from this circle or from this bank. When it is almost coming to the end and they are on the neck, get some money from another bank, pay the other one. So that for you, for you, they are going, they are going, they are moving forward. They are moving forward. And they are starting in anger in CSS. And you study the university. And go even after that. Well, it is not easy. But there are many people who they have a lot of money. I was doing a, a building project. I came to Kampara. One of the business person said, We are going to support you this project. I'm going to show you the power of business person. For we business person going to come to your church. You will normally introduce the whole night goes, and for us business person, we are not mentioned anywhere. Now I'm going to teach you what the business person can do. <laughs> so he took me to seven of his business fellows. One of them was in his office. He said, hey, Bishop, you are the first Bishop to come in my office. No one has ever come here. Oh, you have a press like And I, oh, bless him, bless him. And then, of course I bless him. <laughs> Then the spokesman was doing his work because he had instructed me for me to press and for him to do the work. So I was there. The man opened the door. Yeah. <laughs> that was money, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> the 50,000. The 50, it was serious, you people. <laughs> the man the was lying up there. Now, he picked, just pick his hand, pick it like this, 7 million. I said, Bishop. Thank you for blessing us. <laughs> But the other, the other, the other bundles were still there. <laughs> <laughs> one of our schools in Western Uganda there, there was one member of Board of Governors. A gentleman, he came late for a meeting. That was a board meeting. He told them, I am sorry for coming late. My son, last night, brought a lot of money. We counted the money through, through the whole night. Up <laughs> morning. We counted the money, so by the time we came out of this, I did not count in time for the meeting. So, Monsieur Mokuraganda, he said, that's what I mean. <laughs> May God bless you that also. But one of the moments, you know when you are the head, God uses different ways to keep your head up. And he does it in his own time. 
the, the way he does all the rest, the way he brings his blessings. So you are poor people, I'm telling you, you will be very rich. You will be, let your head keep up, I'm telling you, you will be very rich. Some of you, it may not even take three months from today. And you shall get this when they say the bishop told us at Gaza. <laughs> we were celebrating 25 years with my wife. Of our marriage. 25 years of our marriage. What a blessing. This is May 20th. But our marriage date is 16th. And because the bishops could not come on Tuesday, so they asked me to put it in the weekend. And it was coming to that following Saturday. So, Came to 20th of May this year. Some few days before, I got a phone call. Said, Bishop, we know you are going to celebrate your marriage. We, we are going to assist you in your marriage ceremony. But you also have some building a project. We shall also assist you in that. With our family, we decided to give you. Uh, some, 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 some money to assist you in that. It is big, but don't worry, receive it. <laughs> <laughs> Our marriage date is after the 16th of May, 20, because uh, 25 years on 16th of May this year. So, the day before, on 15th of May, I have a devotional of book. I got it, and it was written by Pastor Adeboye. It's from Nigeria. Adeboye. I have that devotion book. So we read that in the next 24 hours, God is going to wipe out all your debt. I thought it was a joke. But with my wife, he said, Amen. <laughs> Not knowing, in the next 24 hours, that is when the Lord God comes. Not from Adeboye, but from a friend in Uganda here. Yeah. And he gave us 200 million. <laughs> yes. I said, I, 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 at first I don't think, can, can he, can somebody do that? A family, just a mere family. So I went to the bank, said, bank money to check. Therefore, I told him. To check that money was there. In the next 24 hours. Which we have read in that book of devotion. That's why I'm saying, you people, God will surprise you. <laughs> but don't come for that 200 million, I have already used it. <laughs> I, I have already used it. So don't come for it, my friends. But, but for the sake of our girls, our daughters, the success, how much is the pain? How much is the pain? Five thousand. Yes. So for the sake of our daughters, each one of them, them I'll give them a pain of five thousand. I can also do the same. When God blesses you, you bless others. Yeah. If you don't bless our daughters, whom will you will bless? The strangers? No, we have to bless our daughters. Because we, we have talked about sowing. Some here in Harvard, others say, others that you, you think sowing is bad. No. These are going to multiply a hundred folds, six steps, five, but not nothing. That's why you are going to be the heads and not that tail. Not far from today, you remember, the tail I used in Essex, which the Bible so gave it to me. I should be winding up. They gave me. You people at the Gaza School here, you don't take it like the LC1 meeting. Here, you will be done, you know what? You know, the LC1 meeting, people meet and, and they can be on one guest for the whole day. And nothing will come out, and the next day they'll come back. 
So he yeah, said, people go on my own time. Lastly, I want to say this. To become the head, you must follow the conditions. You have to obey God's commandments. Girls want you to be alive. You cannot be the head when it is chopped. Our time we use lorries. I have seen one of my old boys here. Who is it? my brother. Our time when we were students, we used the lorries. We didn't have buses like you. you for us, we are pure box people. Pure box people used to use lorries as their buses all the time. So, one of the schools, they are going somewhere for a football match. And you know how we pack the, the school. So one of the students had to get his head outside. So along the road, another road came from another direction. It chopped off the head of the student, and the head fell down there, and it spoke to us, am I alive or dead? <laughs> <laughs> and then you know what happened. <laughs> when the head is chopped, you cannot be the head. Protect your heads, you girls. You, you girls, our daughters, protect your heads. That some people want to chop off your heads. But others may not chop their own head. They begin with ears. They chop them. Others will not chop them under the ears. They remove part of the mouth. Others will not do that one. But they may hit you. I, I am guided by. They come and get me, soldiers to get me. You'll see, I tell you why they do. Both at the Laitian Center, but also at my own home. And I tell you why. I am a farmer, by the grace of God. Amen. So, different people of high caliber come from all over, within and outside. Come and see what we are doing in the family. Some of them are ministers, others are honorables, others are judges, others they come. And those need security. They need what? Security. Recently, the archbishop was also there. The bishops the other time, all of them were there. They get delegations from Kenya. So they come. They need protection. So why am I saying one of the, one of them? You know, he came out and there was a party around the around our home. So he went to the party. And they served wines. He served. So the man celebrated. Celebrated and forgot that he was a soldier in the army of the world. And became drunk. And you know when you are drunk, you go out of sense. And through out of sense, the villagers embarked on him and told him a lesson. You never forget. So they hit the head, they hit themselves, and he was bleeding all over. So they told me, one of your, your soldiers is, 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 is bleeding and is almost dead. So I called their commander. The commander came and said, How can someone get drunk at bishops? <laughs> and, and, and that man, I asked him, It seems you are you know, like a drunk at. Russian is, no, 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 I'm not, I don't drink. Eh, you can you drink at Bishop South. <laughs> <laughs> I have cameras. So the cameras tell me, this one is, is done. So when they hit his head, he was bruising and he was beating. And then I said, I told you. I told you. So protect your heads, you people. Protect your heads, you brothers. God has wonderful plans for you. You are going to get very nice head husbands. Head husbands. <laughs> oh, no, no. I am telling you, you are not listening. But if the ears are not there, they know the part of the mouth is cut off. <laughs> the head is bruising. Who oh, will risk? Who will risk? <laughs> who risk? They take one that is not out of the mouth. And you know, you know when things for, for, for producing income, the mouth is very important. So if the mouth are not there, how will they? 
So, Baba, with the name of the Lord, that he has used you this morning to encourage all of us to be the heads and not the tails. And indeed, as we usher in the candidates for exams, we know that the Lord has brought Gayaza High School to a level of being a city in the hill whose light shall never be hidden. Every Gayaza High girl will go out there to shine forth the light of the Lord. And we know that she will do it faithfully. Uh, Baba, you are such a humorous and generous bishop. Among the bishops of Uganda, we have known you, we have followed you as one of those humorous and generous bishops. Thank you for the pens. <laughs> Young girls, when you get the pens, please make sure you do that examination with a pen. I think the first examination sh should take a blessing of the pen we are receiving from our new bishop. And then the extra, uh, in other papers, you can as well take on with the pens that you receive from your parents. Thank you for giving our head teacher, who is poor, like the other modern Habad and the deputies. I think if we can all agree to that the head teacher is poor. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hey, he has forgotten one. Our chaplain, a chicken or so. The poor chaplain, who is alumni of Papa Bishop, is receiving a pad as well. Thank you, Baba, for blessing those members of our community. I met the Lord Bishop for the first time in 2012 when we're having a chaplain's conference at Lueza, and the word that he gave us then was, go and feed my sheep. In 2018, we had 10 days in his house in Ntungamo. I was particularly rated as one of the important Ugandans who took time. We had gone with a group of clergy women from Central Busoka, but, uh, the rest slept in another guest house. Two of us were selected to sleep in the Lord Bishop's house. Thank you, Papa, for hosting us. And from then on, my weight changed. I used to be tiny. That name Tino means tiny in Ateso. But from then on, my weight changed. We were really well fed on a lot of milk and Bushera. And that is that. Baba, thank you for everything. Thank you for the word of the Lord. We are all reminded that we shall be heads and not Amen. We shall be blessed in the city and in the countryside. Our essences are blessed. We shall reap a hundredfold. God bless you, Praise God, church. Amen. Once again, we'd like to thank God so much for Reverend Reverend Nathan and he will for a wonderful preaching. And reminding us that we shall be the heads and not the tails. Yes. So we are going to have our offertory hymns. And we shall have two hymns for that. The first offertory hymn will be from the Luganda Hymn Book 223. And the second offertory is 233. And the second of us will be him, him guys and him one, how big that was. The change for hold with the of us will be
And the other hymn book one, How Great Thou Art. After this hymn, we are going to move straight into Thanksgiving. Yes. So 
we are going into the Thanksgiving service and we want to thank God so much for making this day possible, for making everything possible as it was we had our morning and we went out. We want to thank God so much and yeah. So I'm going to call upon the people who will be holding the offertory baskets for the Thanksgiving. And the girls who will be leading the praise and worship for the Thanksgiving, we're going to jump, we're going to dance because seven years, we really want to thank God. And indeed, we thank God that we get the opportunity to have Reverend Nathan, Reverend Nathan and he receive a show and the Lord has blessed us. We thank God that it has been a lovely summer. So as the girls get ready, let's have people come into the offertory. Uh, we'll do that. I mean, the Thanksgiving. Sorry. Uh, we'll do the Thanksgiving according to classes. So we'll start with six A. Yeah. You come, the student, the parent, and you come and thank God while the girls dance there. You can join in. It will be very amazing. And six A, then followed by six C, then followed by six. Um, girls holding the offertory basket. Sorry, thanks again. The We shall take photos after the service. Thank you, parents. Senior six a parents. Praise and worship team.
I thank you so much for the gift of life. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for this is like education service. I thank you so much, O oh God, for how far you brought us, O oh God, Father. I really don't take it for granted, O oh God, Father. I thank you so much for the hands that have given. I thank you for giving us that spirit to give, Almighty Father. I thank you for giving us the spirit to say thank you after each and everything that you've done for us and continue to do for us, O oh God, Father. We really don't take any of the things you've done for us for granted, O oh God, Father. I pray that you may continue blessing us, that you may continue helping us to give thanks even when the circumstances are not um, as we wish, Almighty Father. But I pray that you may continue giving you thanks, Almighty Father, in every situation, Almighty Father. I thank you so much for the S6 candidates 2023. And I thank you that we are going to excel. I thank you, God, Father, that we will come back and give you glory and give you thanks just as we've done today, O God, Father. And I pray that you may continue protecting us, continue protecting our parents. I thank you for the school administration that has supported us. I thank you, Almighty Father, for our parents and all the non-teaching staff and everyone else who has been there first, O God, Father. I pray that you may continue blessing each and every person. And I pray that today may go as an amazing day, O God. I've prayed all this evening and trust in your son Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much, my dear parents, to the, every other person that has given me in time. May to be what you abundantly. Our candidates who are going to do the education service and in the education prayer. I would like to ask all the candidates to stand up. Can we stand up as we dedicate you with the hands of the Lord? Dear parents and students who are in the house, we shall stretch out our hands towards our candidates. As we do so, we shall ask the Lord to sanctify our hands so that we impart hands of a blessing, hands of blessings upon our students, because that's what the Lord intends to do, to bless our students, but a blessing will go through a sanctified hand. Let us pray. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we, your humble servants gathered herein, come before you with gratitude in our hearts. Thank you, O oh God, for every good gift that you have granted to us. Thank you for the utterance of the word that you gave us through your servant, that we shall be heads and not tails, that we should protect our heads. And Lord, we walk out with such words being encouraged to protect our heads, to protect our lives, because someone who is alive is the one who is wealthy. With your hands, we commit our hands as we stretch them out. We pray that you sanctify our hands so that they shall impart a blessing upon these, your children. The candidates of 2023, Lord, as we write hands, as we get them, as we dedicate them unto your hands, Lord, upon your Holy Spirit. We call upon the blood of Christ Jesus to hedge them, to cover them, Lord, as they walk to, towards the time of their papers, Lord. We bless your name that this is the path that you have brought them. Seven years of secondary school education, whereas at six, Lord, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, they had to walk through the solid seven years. And we bless your name. Ebenezer, this fire you have brought them. Lord, we dedicate them into your hands. We know that the pain is mightier than the sword. And with such a gift, your servant has come to bless these, your children, the gift of a pain. He did not come with a sword. He did not come with guns, but he came with pens. So that as our children walk forth to write their examinations, your knowledge that is from above, your supernatural knowledge flows from each of their heads to their hands as they write their exams. We dedicate them into your hands. 
those that are doing the science subjects, Lord. We pray that you come forth for them. Lord, work through every science subject, that they shall receive their A's. And we declare, we receive those A's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those that are doing the sciences, Lord, we impact upon them A's or not. All the that subjects that they are going to do, Lord, they shall be heads in the country. They shall be seen. Their light shall shine forth on all, so that others shall say, indeed, Gaza High School girls are blessed. Indeed, Gaza High School as a community is blessed. Thank you, O God, because you're going to grant each one of them that gift of knowledge, that gift of wisdom. Because your word says that even when we don't have the wisdom, when we ask of you, you give it in abundance. Lord, give these your children wisdom. Direct them in their reading at such a time like this. Direct them, O Lord, that their reading shall be directed towards those areas that they shall find in their papers, O Lord. Even as the teachers are giving the final tips, O Lord, we ask of wisdom, we ask of your wisdom, Lord, that we shall be directed in those particular areas where our children shall be aided to excel. You are a God of excellence. We glorify you. We invite you in your presence, in our presence, Lord. Favor us, Lord. And we pray for sanity in our midst, in such a season like this, that each one of them shall be disciplined, that no one shall be found in the wrong side of the law, and that shall derail them. We pray, my master, that the school shall experience general calm at such a season like this. Lord, we seek you. We always know that your presence will never depart from us. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you've had us and you've blessed us. You've blessed the works of our hands. You've blessed us while at school, even while you were outside school. You have blessed us in the city and the countryside. You have blessed the works of our hands. We receive such blessings. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Let's continue in prayer. A bishop is going to do a dedication on his part as well. Lord, as look at everyone tells us that we shall be the heads, and not the tails, it is true. Therefore, we stand by your promises that none of this will be the tail, but the heads. We dedicate them to you and the right answers. As she has prayed, we know that God is here, every prayer. Therefore, with holy hands, we bless you. We bless each one of you that go and conquer the world of examination in the name of Jesus. And whatever we put down will be for God's honor and glory. That will make you move forward and not backwards. You'll be the hills and not hills. Therefore, we say all together be blessed and be honored for today and for tomorrow. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon each one of you. Upon other classes also, for they also will be promoted to other levels. The senior ones, the senior twos, the senior threes, the senior fives. They are also going to other levels. The s fours are now doing that examination. They are also going to another level. We pray that you also bless it and they move forward and not backwards. And above all, thank you for the administration. Thank you for each one of us, the stakeholders in this school. And they are able to rebuild in their daughters by sowing seriously. They may be serious and time you bless them. That blessing be upon you and never leave you now and forevermore. Hallelujah. I have taken this opportunity. I asked them, they told me you are 140. Let who is your leader? Yes, may you come here, Karina.
I think this is a rare opportunity. Because this one will not be repeated to the same people. So today I have just called the real opportunity to bless you. In this envelope, we have 700,000 shillings. We got a shillings. And if you are not you, I pay the cost you already know. <laughs> Therefore, I hand over this
Well, well, <laughs> we thank our bishop so, so, so much for his time. <laughs> Go back and read those books and excel. <laughs> so we are going to have a remarks. I would love to invite the senior secretary representative who was up for my help. executive members present, the school administration, teaching and non-teaching staff, our dear parents, and the entire student's body, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is Nanyo Bakatara Mukasa, the former head girl at Yaza High School. And I stand before you today as the senior six representative. Our best preacher, Right here, Grand Nathan, I can be see Thank you so, so, so much for blessing us today. <laughs> we have learned and understood that we are heads and not tails. We are surely going to remember that we are among the number. <laughs> and we shall also remember to protect our heads. <laughs> Thank you so much for blessing us. Thank you for reminding us that we are women of value and so we should know our value so that no one will attack us. We thank you so much for honoring our invitation and for the word that has blessed each and every one in this place. May God continue to richly bless you. We thank the Almighty God for bringing us this far. Who knew that the little girls of Senior 12017 would be here today, being dedicated to the Lord as senior six candidates in 2023 instead of 2022. <laughs> we acknowledge that the years starting from 2020 caused immense challenges that we are still recovering from today. But nevertheless, we are here. So let us give the Almighty God a mighty hand clap. For he has been so good and faithful to all of us. Our winning novelist, Thornton Wilder, said, We can only be said to be alive in those moments when our hearts are conscious of our treasures. And it's for this reason that I wish to recognize and appreciate the different stakeholders that have made our journey worthwhile. Let me start with the Board of Governors led by Mrs. Rosette Keba. We appreciate the time that you spare to guide and oversee and make wise recommendations concerning our life in school. We know that many of the things we enjoy now are a result of the mindful decisions you have made for us. I cannot forget the time when Mary Stewart was being repainted. And in those days, Mrs. Keba would sit Mary Stewart compound each and every evening, or at least almost every evening. And she'd sit there ready and very willing to talk to whoever wanted to talk to her. And she'd just sit there and smile and listen and listen and listen. Actually, at that time we were going in for Sosh. Yes, so she came with Mrs. Ndiko. And Mrs. Nico was the first to see some of our Sosh dresses. <laughs> Saying, enter, 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 bring the dresses, let me see. And yeah, so after sitting in the compound, she would use the pavement, and then many girls would follow her requesting to call their parents. <laughs> and not once did she look tired or stressed, you know, or bored. She always remained so excited to be in our presence. So we thank you for giving us the opportunity to get to know you. 
We also appreciate the PTA executive led by Mrs. Bali Katono for your willingness to take on the mantle of bridging the gap between the students, the teachers, the parents, and the administration. We do not take your commitment to the progress of our school for granted. And so we pray that the Almighty God may continue to bless you. <laughs> to the school administration, led by Mrs. Robina Chizito Katongole, together with our deputies, Mrs. Annette Kawogoza, in charge of welfare, Mrs. Rebecca Kampumure, in charge of academics, and the director of studies, Mr. George William Sekaita. You have been our guiding light through this journey, imparting wisdom and providing unwavering support every step of the way, bringing to life the words of inspirational speaker Simon Sinek, who said, leadership is not about being in charge. It is about taking care of those in your charge. In a special way to Mrs. Chizito, we acknowledge that it's not always easy to manage and control in individuals with a plethora of emotions, opinions, and behaviors. Yet with the help of God, you have mastered the art of keeping us in line. From the meetings where you allowed us to vent our problems, to the unexpected day out that I can say was true at the time. A success when you to join me in thanking the school administration. <laughs> to our deans, Mrs. Gertrude Semuju for lower school, Mr. Charles Semogere for middle school, and Mr. Sechewa Edward for our school. Thank you for ensuring that our academic challenges are addressed each and every single time for all these years. To the chaplaincy, led by our lovely Reverend Lomin Sachiwanuka. Thank you so much for the spiritual nature that has not left us the same. You have surely brought to life the school's first four value of godliness. Through the different fellowships, the Sunday services, the Bible studies, I cannot forget to mention that we undoubtedly have the smartest chaplain in the world. I assume that we will definitely borrow those hairstyle ideas. <laughs> but our chaplain doesn't work alone. So allow me to recognize Reverend Xavier Tino, Reverend Katana Kanike, and the big team of Gaza community, including Mrs. Gibson, who takes us to Bible study every Thursday. Not forgetting our amazing chapel choir, led by Mrs. Gary, Beatrice Gary, and the other teachers of Gary. These girls spend hours and hours in practice to ensure that they sound as beautiful as they So we thank you all for helping our reverend expand God's kingdom. To our lovely house mothers. For Kobe House, Mrs. Elizabeth Mugwanya. For Cox House, Ms. Nabrige Aini. Nakolo House, Miss Namuteli Remy. For Hatching Son House, Mrs. Irene Sebugwamu. For Kenny House, Mrs. Kereka Sibani. For Kibe Bulaya House, Mrs. Kosi Kanata. For Rodan Sibami House, Mrs. Flavia Seriani. And Chabon House, Mrs. Nampaji Javier. Led by our beautiful matron, Mrs. Proskovia. May you please stand up for your competition.
wonderful ladies have relentlessly taught us what it takes to be a well-kept and orderly Gaza girl back in the dormitories. Considering that a number of us arrived in senior one, unable to lay our beds, to wash our clothes, and probably comb our hair neatly. So we thank you for correcting us in love in order to make a significant change in our lives. And now to our teachers. Allow me in a special way to mention our class teachers, who are Mrs. Teddy Sebunya. She also doubles as our senior woman. Mrs. Rita Mutesa Sira. And Mr. Nelson St. Jobe. with us in our academic journey and inspired us to reach for the stars. Their passion, dedication, and tireless efforts have made a lasting impact in our lives. I remember one night prep lesson in Senior 5C. That day it rained so heavy, so heavy. So the door began swinging open, shut open, shut open. And then at some point, at some point the, the ceiling board fell. And so as students who are reacting, making noise, whatnot, only to look at the board, Mr. Senjome was still seriously writing numbers. <laughs> it, has, it was as though nothing was taking place. And I am so sure that the senior six math class we will never forget all the times we have had to sing dance, scrub, mop, run, just to get a signature confirming that you did the work. <laughs> Our teachers have gone above and beyond to ensure that we receive the best education possible. They have shaped our minds, ignited our curiosity, and prepared us for the future. I can assure you that we have been taught a lot. Right from how to be women of purpose and value, to how to welcome back our future husbands from work. <laughs> I know... I know that sometimes, as students, we are difficult. And act like you'd rather be in class with us than at home with your families. But we thank you for your patience, your wisdom, and belief in our potential. You are truly heroes. the non-teaching staff, the Bassa's office, led by Mr. Fred Mubiru, and the secretary. Thank you for the work that you do, that sometimes we are not even aware of. The sick bed department, inclusive of Sister Bena Okalani, Sister Deborah Sanja, Aunt Annette, and all our parent doctors. Thank you for the care and the treatment that you always give us when we are unwell. I know that some of us will surely miss that sick bed use. <laughs> the school counselors, led by Mrs. Juliet Kabuma. Thank you for sparing your time to listen to our challenges concerning academics, friendships, family, and helping us to get back onto our feet even when we lost hope. The compound department, led by Ms. Sodoy. Thank you for keeping the school compound green and beautiful at all times. We appreciate the security team for working 24 hours to make sure we are safe. And our photographer, Mr. Bunya. For capturing all our school memories, even if sometimes we are running away from the camera, because we are scared of the big bills. <laughs> and on that note, our dear parents, we have some wonderful memories to share with you. But the memories come at a cost. So kindly brace yourselves. <laughs> our librarians, we thank you for ensuring 
that you can have all the books with all the kind of information we need. The ladies at the school canteen. Thank you for ensuring that our stomachs are filled at all times possible. The sound system operators. Thank you for being here at all times, sometimes in the night, to show us movies, also known as Koji. We are so grateful. Last but not least, the dining room department. Get my Mrs. Grace to Musimi. Thank you for the sumptuous meals that we find really enjoyable. Some days, some days, I must confess, it's like I'm eating at four points by Sheraton. <laughs> <laughs> and so, to the non-teaching staff, for those familiar with website design, you know that the front end of a website can only be as good as its back end. The front end being the visible part and the back end being the unseen part. So we thank you for steering the school in the areas that usually go unnoticed. <laughs> to our lovely dear parents. <laughs> our heroes, our mentors, our sponsors, <laughs> and our motivation. Thank you for giving birth to us. <laughs> but also raising us up to this point because there are a number of parents that don't. We know that you might never get to know some of the things that you have gone through for us up to this point. But thank you for all the sacrifices that you have made just to put a smile on our faces, including things like buying two social dresses, Through hours of traffic just because we requested for cafe jambas <laughs> on VD. Your sacrifices have been the foundation upon which we have pushed ourselves to carry on. Matthew Jacobson said, Behind every young child who believes in herself, there is a parent who believed first. <laughs> Thank you so much for believing in us even when the video reports would cause otherwise. <laughs> we love you more than we can, act, more than we can express. Yeah. Essex says, I think our parents deserve a standing ovation. <laughs> and now in my capacity as for my head girl, I can say that I attribute this to the prophetic declaration. <laughs> my school council chairman, Tibai Dikera Priscilla. <laughs> and all the members of the Kaizen, please briefly stand up for the board. <laughs> the four of us, together with the rest of the prefect's body, <laughs> made what I I like to call the dream team. This group of girls worked tirelessly to make this school 1% better every day. Which is the meaning of our prefecture name, the Kaizen. We are grateful for the Mira Itana for all that they have been able to do today to make this day possible. Thank you so much. The Mira Itana is the current prefecture. and to the entire student's body that has supported us in one way or another. Last but not least, the senior six candidates, 2023. <laughs> My gallant sisters. <laughs> and being recent experts in the hair and makeup department, we surely look like queens today. Parents, if your daughter comes to you in the vacation saying that she wants to start up a salon, 
be sure that she knows what to do because we have done it all. <laughs> After being in high school for seven years, completing this journey is a major milestone. It has surely been a roller coaster. Just last week, my, one of my classmates decided to ask a random question. And the answers were quite interesting. The question was, when was the last time you cried? The answers were, girl number one said three days ago. Girl number two said yesterday. And girl number three told her, today morning before I woke you up. <laughs> at this point, looking back at our journey, we have been through a lot. Definitely, we have been through a lot. But we have persevered, we have faced all challenges head on, and we have not given up at any point. All the late nights, the early mornings, coming points on world wars, and why there is unemployment in Uganda. <laughs> Not forgetting the mathematics exams at 5 a.m. After walking through the rain to attend roll call. But also the beautiful friendships that we have made. <laughs> Some to the level of sisters. I trust that we have grown stronger, wiser, and more resilient. The saddest part about leaving high school is that we shall have to part ways. Not sure if we'll ever see each other again. But, we, but if we are lucky, some of us might bump into each other some years later, maybe shopping. <laughs> At, at our children's video. <laughs> because of this, let us, let us use this remaining time to celebrate the people that have touched our hearts. Whether through a kind word, or a helping hand, or a shoulder to cry on. For these people have made a difference in our lives. So, the good news is, this time next month, some of us will be done in this <laughs> But how do you want to get done? Yes? How do you want to get done? So let us use these remaining weeks to read like we have never read before. Yeah, and so when someone is in class dozing due to unavoidable circumstances in pursuit of the goal, tap them and say, Campus over, don't ya wake up and read. For I know that the good Lord that we trust in will enable us to celebrate come March next year. And I know that if we do our best, he is more than able to help us. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But they who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I know that God who enabled us to start this journey is more than able to bring it to completion. The future is ours, and I can't wait to see where the world takes us. And I also can't wait to see the amazing things that God is going to do in our lives. As I conclude, in the spirit of oneness, the appearance, some of us have outstanding peace balances. So if you can help out in any way, we are more than grateful. God bless you all. Thank you for listening and never give up.
This was the only model to have this type of money. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good and that's his nature that he's not the high child. Come my ears, we. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. The right reverend Nathan and Siwe. present and especially our chaplain who has made this day beautiful for us the chairperson PTA and all board members present the chairperson PTA and all executive members present staff members Parents gathered here today, our dear candidates 2023, and the school representatives in the name of the chapel choir. Good afternoon to you all. I take this opportunity to welcome all of you to this service today. We want to thank God for the far we have come. Senior Six, we thank God for this thing. I have asked the team that takes care of the children in the school to be with me so that I feel some warmth. It rained this morning, it has been very cold. Not so. Allow me to appreciate the Right Reverend Nathan Ahim Siwe for blessing us with a great message. Thank you for reminding not only the girls, but also us in our different capacities that we are all heads and not heads. Thank you for reminding us that we must protect our heads. Thank you for reminding us that we must see far as from what Reverend Lovisa remembers most about you. Thank you for blessing our girls with the pains that will give them success. And thank you for blessing us with chicken. May God bless you. Thank you for accepting to come. I know that bishops are very busy. It's very difficult to have them, you know, get you a slot in their busy schedule. But Bishop, you, you love guys. And thank you for having us. I want to appreciate the parents for entrusting us with your daughters. Thank you. We have special girls here, but you chose to give them to us to take care of. Thank you for choosing Gaza High School. Thank you very much for lending us these girls for the time that we have looked after them. And when Tatara gives her remarks the way she has, I am fulfilled that I am sending out ladies. <laughs> Thank you for lending me Tatara. Thank you very much. And all the other parents.
Thank you for the girls that you've given us. And we are churning out girls who are very responsible. Ladies who will make a difference in our homes. They know that they must represent Gaza wherever they are. And they always remind one another that they should behave like the Gaza girls. They even know it. Thank you for the school fees and for all the requirements you have tirelessly provided for these girls. Sometimes they come to my office to ask for the phone and I ask, what do you want to tell your parents? Sometimes they give me reasons that I say to them, ah, ah, so you don't, don't involve them in that. And uh, these house mistresses and class teachers are part to listen to many things from these girls. All the way from my friends have left me, to my parents, I'm not sure whether mommy is safe at home. Um, even when I'm here, I'm not certain that daddy came back last night. Those things, they share with us. But they are now ladies. And they have resilience to face the world. Gaiaza has trained them. Thank you for the dresses. They look Beautiful. Thank you for responding to those phone calls. They tell you, Mommy, please call back. <laughs> Has anyone received a phone call like that? <laughs> Daddy, please call back. And you listen to everything they have to say. Thank you for listening to their long lists of shopping, whether you own them or not, but you listen. I usually tell parents in senior one, you listen, let them read the list. The reality will face them when you arrive. For them to know that your pocket could only afford what you have come with. But we want to thank you. Those of you who managed to honor them, we bless the Lord for that. Girls, when we started last year in Senior 5, I said, A-level is a very short time. Do you now believe me? Yes. The two years have run like we can't believe we have had two years here. But we want to thank God that he has led us through the moments and the different moments have come and gone. We chose Beautiful hymns. Thank you, Senior Six, for choosing the hymns. And as you go out from Tatara's speech, I know that we are sending out solid ladies who are going to represent Gayaza wherever you will be. And I always tell you that wherever you are, people will say, that is a Gayaza girl. So whatever you're doing, remember, you carry the flag of Gayaza High School. But one of the hymns we have chosen today was Teach Me Thy Way, O Lord. It's beautiful to sing, but the words are very impactful. As you go out, my plea is that the Lord will teach you his way. In the many things of life that the Lord will teach you his way. When there are doubts, let the Lord teach you his way. When there are storms in life, let the Lord teach you his way. Look carefully then how you walk. Not as unwise women, but as wise. And so on and so forth. Remember to walk as because the world is evil, the days are bad. But also, as we say farewell to you, we are saying, with our theme for the year, test everything, uphold, and discard 
what is evil. Let those be guiding principles for you wherever you go. Our dear parents, we have guidelines for today. We want to give you some time with these girls. We request that you encourage, you use that time to encourage them, to pray with them, to talk issues of discipline. Ask them to give you any phones, whether you know about them or not. When you six, that laughter is causing me to think that there could be phones among you. But I'm addressing parents, dear parents, ask them to give you the phones, whether you know about them or not. I remember 20, 20, 2021. When we called a parent to hand over the daughter and the phone, and he came with the phone from home, he said, but this is the phone I know. Then I told him, sir, please ask her where she got the one you got her with from. So dear parents, that's why I'm saying, ask them to give you the phones, whether you know about them or not. We don't want to disorganize them or to have them disorganized as they write exams. It is not the best of experiences, and especially in this rainy season, if someone has to commute to write exams at Kayaza High School over the phone. I also want to request that you cancel them issues discipline. People have done senior six before, so they are not the first set. So tell them to keep calm and to remain within the school rules and regulations. I also pray and request that we do not do a lot of drama today. I have seen some drama going around. People wishing children success with the saxophone, with... <laughs> they are dishing out a lot of money. My Lord Bishop, it is good for people to, to bless others with what they have. But if I want to bless my daughter with some money, I don't think it will be a show of, you know. Hey, hey. Let's keep the tone of Gayaza. These parents present the normal, acceptable success cards. Going forward, we shall we shall have what we call high tea with these girls starting Tuesday. We meet each class and we have our moment with them starting Tuesday. Then we shall have a grand farewell dinner this Friday. We shall have our briefing. No, after Friday, then on Saturday, you'll come for VD. Yeah. Dear parents, I request that you come. Yeah. We are there on Sunday. What's the point of going? Other people will come. You see how Please come on VD. Don't give the devil a chance. Do you want our parents to come or other people? Okay. So, please, we will have a visiting day on Saturday next week. And then the Friday, 13th, we shall have our briefing. And after the briefing, we won't expect communication from the outside world. Then the exams will roll on the 16th of November. So we pray that the Lord will guide us as we have been dedicated. We trust that God will bring to memory all that we have read and that we shall be able to answer questions well and as expected. Allow me to introduce the team that hold my hand with the work of nurturing these girls. 
Mrs. Anit Kabogo Zamsoke. Mrs. Rebecca Mukiwa Kampungure. Mr. George William Sekaita. And our staff members, dear staff members, please stand up for the recognition. It is not me. May God bless you. And before I end, I know that there are various success cards that are coming our way. Some have been sent by the other old girls association. We shall see them. But we also have, Kaita, can you help us? A success card from one of the parents. I think it's a parent of senior five and senior six. Senior six. trick of chocolate that keeps them calm. So you hear them, they're saying, yes. So dear parents, if you have chocolate, I will receive it and then pass it on. Allow me now to invite the PTA executive chairperson who will later invite the board chair to address us. Thank you very much for listening to me. Never give up. Today we shall be here and leave by 3 p.m. Leave by 3 p.m., not after the parents. I know that Gaza High School. I know that parents of Gaza High School can keep time. So by three we should be leaving this space. Thank you very much. personalized success card 
So we did that last year, and we've done the same this year. <laughs> so this year, I asked my vice chairperson, Dr. Maiteki, Dr. Kathy, and uh, because she's, um, I call her Mchalam Sumba because she's married to Pastor Sengruzi. So I, I asked her, I said, hey Mchalam Sumba, what is the message for our girls this year? So she says, okay. So then I call her again, I say, Mchalam Sumba, the cards, what is the message? So she gives me the message which is, the Lord will make you the head, not the tail. If you pay attention to the command of the Lord your God, that I'll give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be the top, never at the bottom. Deuteronomy 28, verse 13. When that word came from the bishop, I thanked God, I said, God, you're making Gaias at the top. This year we are doing it. And I want to thank Dr. Kathy for listening to the Spirit of God. Because there is no way that the two messages rhyme together. And the way the, the Lord Bishop has articulated why you need to be the head, why you need to protect your head, why you need all the faculties of your head, and the entire message. We bless you, right Reverend, Reverend, and Dr. Ka, thank you for listening and heeding to the Spirit of God. Thank you very much. I want to thank our parents. Thank you. They have thanked you. I'm not going to thank you enough. The school administration on behalf of the parents. For us, we want to say thank you. Some of us who work with them closely, we understand what it means when she says Deal, dealing with the children when the tatara said we know that dealing with us was not easy we understand it because we read it in the reports we feel their struggles but we thank you you have given it all your best and i want to thank to only to request all the parents that we stand up and honor the school at meal by just a standing ovation to say, Fengaba Zadde, Fengaba Guardians, Tarasisto, and the entire meal. Thank you. 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 We understand them. And you know that the school can't work without the boss. And uh, the, the